that is close enough. You are no guard, and there has been no disturbance as of yet, nor do you bring any food or drink with you. Hmm, in some ways, perhaps. You have the bearing of a traveller, and should know best of all those here that it pays to remain wary, lest the arrow find its mark. It would seem so. Tell me, stranger, what brings you here? There are better pickings for conversation than I, nor do I have much coin to spare. Indeed, you are the first I've spoken with in some time that hasn't immediately asked about the hood covering my eyes. Do not falter. In truth, there is not much to tell. I can no longer see as you do. Yes, your sympathies are well-meaning, but unwarranted. It is not such a terrible thing. The loss of one sense enhances the others. There is work for many in these lands, mercenaries most of all. And there are worse fates than to die on the battlefield. Of a sort. Not at the moment, but your own travels must have shown that there is always more to be done. Why do you ask? Hmm, I admit, there is something intriguing about you, a strength of character that I have not felt in many years. But there are plenty of hirelings around here. Why take a risk on a blind woman, of all things? Very well. I am Eris, the last standing among many. So long as you respect this arrangement, our fates will remain bound and I will do what I can to assist. Your blood is unknown to me, but that is of little concern. The honor is mine. 